Hi, everybody. I got something for you out of CERN. Uh, they think they found a new particle. And this is coming out of the European... Let's see, what's the organization? The European Organization for Nuclear Research reported Tuesday. Uh, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, via, I think it was the Atlas Research Center, or whatever that area is reported that they think they found a heavier version of the Higgs boson. Uh, supposedly a particle that explains why other particles have mass, which is the Higgs boson. But basically this particle is the long-lost graviton, the supposed quantum carrier of gravity whose discovery could imply the existence of extra dimensions in space-time. Um, this is actually very, very huge. Um, you ever read any major science fictions, they tend to break down all the, you know, what ifs, you know, graviton rays are pulling planets out of orbit, and this, that, you know, if we actually discover this, folks, this is the element we can use, or the particle we can use, and we finally learn to harness it to make planets, to pull objects, to do any number of incredible things, including making our own suns and hopefully at some point our own solar systems and galaxies in containers. I know that's too far-fetched, and I don't think the human race is at that point where we can actually do that safely. Hopefully not. Even with as little... Um, public technology as they're allowing us to have, I don't think that that's even remotely possible. But I want to kind of put this out there because this is actually kind of hitting there. And if this is true, we have hit probably the nearest, you know, what if, and if they can capture this, if they can try to examine how to get this, this might just easily be the key that opens the door, because think about what this key means, folks. A graviton, you could create a graviton ray, and it would push into the very fabric of reality. The more gravitons at a wider and wider dimension, the more of the keyhole you could open up, folks. Along with assisting with the Higgs boson and the electrons, which would basically circle back up and around, you could easily open up a wormhole that could actually be a gateway to another dimension. Now, I don't want to read the who's who on this, because I really don't care who Kyle Craner is of New York University. And I was right that it was the CERN team at the Atlas Center. And damn, I was actually surprised at that. Atlas Center and the CERN LHC, obviously. Um, so, folks, everything you basically saw in Star Trek and Star Wars basically exists around the concept that a graviton does exist and that those technologies could harness that particle. I mean, this is the thing you shoot into the, f the front part of a spaceship to make it curve away from the existing particles to make you go faster than light, make teleportation easier, any number of things. This would be the particle, folks, or the cousin of the particle, etc., 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 depending on how they actually use it. This could very well be the key that unlocks the door, folks. The Higgs boson is like the silly little cousin that goes, Oh, look what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one you put in the lock and open and then grab the door handle and pull it open, folks. With this, everything else would basically be unraveled. Um, I'm reminded of something going back to uh trying to remember the story the time traveler that came here from the future from the civil war thing from the second civil war 
I, I can't remember his name at the moment, but he said that there was a dipole discovery that would be made, and once this was basically put in arrangement, that these two particles would circle each other, creating what we needed for time travel. I'm almost certain it was a Higgs boson and a graviton. I know it's not exactly the way that uh, it was phrased in that period, but I believe that this is the particle they're waiting for, folks. In fact, I can't imagine that it isn't. Now, I don't know how far they are from saying, Hey, look, we discovered it. Hey, Johnny, check out this wormhole, look. Put their hand in one, you know, they're scratching their ass with the with one by their ass or something, you know, like in uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you know, they're reaching in there, pulling out weird stuff, you know, grabbing somebody's lunch from the fridge or something, you know. Uh, but this is this is probably what unlocks the doors, folks. And this is really, really getting out there that if they actually found this, folks, this is what they wanted. The key that unlocks the door. The graviton. This is the one where they make contact, folks. I guarantee you if you put this, put a large amount of these into a quantum computer chip, you know, this is the stuff you run through, you know, telephone lines and stuff like that. You can communicate back and forth. Um, I skipped an article where I was going to actually describe how that would work back and forth with time travel, with uh, speaking from people with the past or future, using quantum computers, because the speed on the quantum computers is so fast now that it actually doubles back and sets a time previous to when you started and they actually been doing a lot of studies on the super super computers that do that and they actually discover weird little codons that kind of say that they've been you know pinging in different times before they sent the message but I'm telling you folks I I feel that it's very very close to the age where we actually see all this stuff unfold thank you